I made my first game in August 2016, you know, and then I started like, distributing it to kids in a refugee camp. It was really very light, it was less than 12. MBs. The APK was so small because in the camp there's no internet, so I would just use Bluetooth to, to send it to, to kids. Um, they may have loaded the game on my Facebook page and the game went viral. And then everything just changed. Uh, my name is Luan Main and uh, I'm from South Sudan. I grew up in Uganda and um, I'm a former refugee. Uh, I spent over 23 years, you know, in a refugee camp. Uh, I'm the CEO and the founder of, uh, of Genuine Game. I remember, like, there was a refugee registration. It was the first time I saw a computer. Wow, what is that? Like, you know, I've never, I've never seen it. Then I asked my mom, I was like, what is that? And she was like, that's a computer. And I'm like, how did you even know that this is a computer? Like, because like, she's never been to school, you know, in, 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 in her life. And then in 2013, I came to my mother and I was like, I want to buy a computer. She looked at me, she was like, well, we're going to get the money to buy a computer. She, she, she saved money silently for three years, looking for $300 to buy from your computer. And then she came to me and she was like, hey, Luol, this is the money, you can go and buy a computer. And, and to me, it was a day that really changed my life. I found a place where like, the, the youth generated. So I worked three hours per day to go charge my computer. And then I walked back. When I created my first game, you know, my, my focus was not you know, to create a game for commercial game or something like that. I was just creating games so we can have something for the kids in the refugee camp to play for. And then, you know, and then the rest, you know, just happened later on. So Junub is an Arabic word uh, that means people of the south. So that's where I got the name from, because uh, I'm from South Sudan. You know, like I uh, have to create something in the game industry that relate to m my people. You know, South Sudan is a country that was gripped by civil war. It's a war that affected a lot of people, over like, you know, 300,000 people, you know, um, from Sudan. And also over 2.5 million uh, refugees are from South Sudan. And uh, my family had to flee, you know, the war to be able to be able to find a place of refuge. And uh, we ended up, you know, resettling uh, in Uganda. And uh, on the journey, uh, that's how I was born on the way, actually. Growing up, like, we had no access to, like, you know, clean water, food, you know, like, things that are really necessary uh, for people, you know, no good education, no good health care. We're just struggling with life. And that's why I thought about my game Salam. You know, Salam is a high tension on a game that put a player in the shoes of refugees. So what you do in the game is you take a refugee from a war-torn country and your focus as a player is to actually take them to uh, their final destination is a place where, you know, place of peace. You give them the resources so that they can reach their final destination. And it's actually we are the first ever game uh, to bridge the virtual wall and the reality on the ground. So what I mean by that is that when a player buy food in the game actually for their character, you're actually buying food for somebody in a refugee camp. If you buy water, you buy it for somebody in a refugee camp. The main character is a woman. That's my mom, actually. My favorite word always is gifted to give. I wouldn't be who I am today if my mother didn't give me something that actually changed my life. And I want to pay it forward.
the focus for our foundation being able to like give refugees the opportunities, education, and then so now we organize like every six month program, game design, uh, web design, and all of them are enjoying it. And some of them are getting access to like, you know, internship with big corporations, you know, even if they're in a refugee camps. One thing I always say that, you know, talent is evenly distributed and opportunity is not. Everybody's talented. It doesn't matter where you are. There's always that human talent. And that human talent is something that is always in us.